Thank talk you. more about wines and certainly one of the most scenic wine areas in Oregon and Washington. More than 20 Columbia River Gorge wine wineries will be at a big event called the Portland Grand Tasting. And of course, we want to learn more about that. Yeah, Deb Michelson with Hawkins Cellars in the Gorge joins us now. Thank you so Hi, much for coming. You? Okay, now what we're on the wine do you have, yes. Deb? <laughs> we do have unique dirt on do Underwood you? Mountain <laughs> and very, it's called Chemawa. It's a very Okay, and it's so only on level. that mountain. Yeah, because How about you guys that? have the yes. winds and you know the cooler temperatures mm -hmm. yes, sometimes and it's with the It's river. a volcanic mountain, so it's extinct, but a volcanic mountain, so it has dis um, distinct uh, soil type. Yeah. That's so great. I think a lot of people do think of the uh, Willamette Valley is sort of Oregon's wine region, right. but that is simply not true. We have another beautiful one, and you say there's plenty of wineries to visit out there. Yes, um, it, at this event that we're having on Thursday, we'll have over 20 gorgeous wineries wow. to sample wow. wines from and meet the winemakers. And you can just go to this one event and taste, taste them, them all, all. and yes. then sort of pick maybe who you want to visit on, right. on the warmer right. days, right? right. Is, that's got to be interesting because the gorge is so hilly of how to plant these vineyards, you know? I mean, it's more kind of vertical than than flat, right? Well, there's just, it's an incredibly diverse area for planting grapes. You have um, vineyards that are at, you know, 1,200 to 1,400 feet elevation, wow. and then you have the ones that are normal just along the Columbia mm -hmm. River. So then what kind of wines will you be presenting? I assume it's a variety as well then. Yes, so we like to say that it's like a world of wine in 40 miles. Really? And so you can taste colder climate varietals such as Pinot Noir and Chardonnay mm -hmm. and Riesling to um, wineries that are producing Syrah and Malbec and Zinfandel. Wow. On, the, on the drier yes, side of yes, the gorge, I assume, yes. where it really warms up. Yeah. Wow, that's, yeah, you have all kinds here. Um, mm -hmm. Reds and whites and, yeah, mm -hmm. Pinots, like Oregon is mm -hmm. famous for. So, okay, so tell us a little bit about this event. It's um, this Thursday at the Left Bank Annex. Uh, here in Portland, mm -hmm. and it's the Grand Tasting. I mean, is it's not? Mm -hmm. Is it just Columbia? It is just Gorge Columbia wines. Gorge wines, yeah. and it's um, a once a year event. It's the ninth year we're doing this. Okay. Our winery. It's the first year we're doing it because we're awesome. we're new to the Gorge, Congrats. so we're very excited. Nice. So people come in, and what happens at this event? It sounds a little bit intimidating when you talk about all these different wines and the winemakers there. <laughs> but everyone welcome, no matter what their degree of uh, knowledge oh, about the wines. Yes, of course. And you know, in the Gorge, we're really casual. We are very low key, <laughs> and um, it's just going to be a fun event where, as I said, you can taste a lot of wine, have hors d'oeuvres, and meet the winemakers. Excellent. Well, sounds thank super you so much. fun. Yeah, I've got to check it out this Thursday. You, if you love wine. You you can find whatever you want in Oregon. I think that's what we've learned today.